Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sohan, and today I'm here to review the Hair Styling Powder by Slick Gorilla. So if this is something you're interested in, then you're gonna wanna stick around, but we're gonna get started right now. That's you, that's you, yeah, you, 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 I'm on a wave. I'm out today, gonna be tomorrow, I'll be the same. They know my name, don't know my face, but soon they will. Alright guys, so first things first is the packaging comes in this, you know, cardboard box. It is what it is, it's fine. It's got some good branding, black and white, modern, super slick, hence the name Slick Gorilla. And yeah, this is a hair styling powder, so if you guys are not familiar with that, it's just basically like a white powder that you put in your hair, and that's pretty much it. It's just a finishing powder. You can use it as a pre-styler. I typically use this as a post-styling product. So the way that I use it is typically around if I'm traveling or I just don't want to put any type of like heavy product in my hair, whether it's a clay, a paste, or even a pomade. If I'm trying to keep it light, then I'll go with something like this because this does a fantastic job at creating texture, volume, and just feels lightweight in your hair so you can run your hands through it, you don't have to worry about it, and it's good for all types of hair. It's good for short hair, long hair, thin hair, or coarse hair. I have coarse hair. If you have thin hair, this will be great because it will thicken your hair or appear to be more thicker. So for someone that has thinning hair or just wants to make their hair look more full, then I would definitely try this out. So opening it up, you're gonna see just a small little bottle like this. It's only 0.7 ounces. That doesn't seem like a lot when it comes to product. Keep in mind that this is all powder, so you don't really need too much to put in your hair, and it'll really give you like a nice effect. When you look at this, you're probably like, damn, it's only 0.7 ounces, and I can get like a matte paste, or like a pomade, or a clay for the same price, and it's much more inside the container, but this is all, you know, relative. Because this is a powder, you're gonna get less, but it'll go a long way. It probably goes the same amount of time that your paste or your clay or your pomade. So the main way that I use it is typically when I'm traveling or I'm just not wanting to put something heavy in my hair like a clay, paste, or pomade. I just want to get some volume, some texture, and make it look texturized without having to add that bulk and weight to my hair. In particular, when I'm traveling, I like to carry this because it's smaller, I can travel with it without having to, you know, worry about TSA stealing that me. And, and this is great when you don't have access to like a hair dryer to add that extra volume, so this can actually provide you well, this can actually provide you with a lot of volume, a lot of texture, but the hold isn't like, you know, anything great, but what can you expect from a powder? It's just to really give you that bad, edgy type look if you're looking for that. My hair, I just hopped out of the shower. It is a little bit wet. I'm gonna go ahead and towel dry for you guys. A little bit more. The goal is to get as much moisture out of your hair as possible. It'll give you the best effect because with the powder, basically what it does is it sucks up any additional oils in your hair. That's what kind of gives it the matte texture and the matte effect, as well as the texture and a bunch of the volume. So the way that Slick Gorilla recommends using this is either put it in your hand and then put it in your hair like that to just get the texture and matte effect. But if you want to get more volume, you want to just be able to dump it in here. And what I really like about this product in particular is the way that the powder dispenses because with most powders that I've used, they kind of like dump on your hair and then you use too much and then the product goes too fast with this. It's got like a pretty good, uh, you know, dispensing mechanism where I can just like add like a good amount without having to worry about it all falling in my hair. So what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of this, dump it in my hair, and then I'll just massage it across my hair and then I'll style afterwards. So I'll start from the back. And you can see, just try to get it a little bit everywhere. Like I think I have enough right there. If not, you can always go back and add more. I always like to do it that way because remember like you can't take anything out. You can always put it back in. So then I'll just go in like this and just rub it everywhere within my hair. I mean, you can already tell, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but you can already see the separation in my hair. It's giving it a good matte look. It's added some volume to it. Like, I can run my hands through it. It's still, like, really lightweight where I can do that. It's got the matte finish. It's got a lot of texture. I can just, like, style it like this. If I wanted to get it out, do it like a quick hairstyle, especially when you're on the go. If you're trying to get out of the house really quickly or you're on the go when you're uh, when you're traveling or something. I like this product because it's like nice and small. I can throw it in my dop kit, not worry about it. I can travel with it. If I need to get out of the house quickly, I can just dump a little bit of powder in my hair, rub it in there, and then kind of the style with my hands. And then this is like the, the final effect of 
the hair. I mean, it adds pretty good, a decent amount of volume, nothing like a hair dryer, like I said, but it does add the extra volume that maybe something like a clay, pomade, or paste wouldn't be able to do it by itself. So, would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this. For anyone that doesn't like a paste, pomade, or a clay to put in their hair, they don't like the heaviness, the stickiness, you don't have to worry about that with this. And you're just looking to add a little bit of extra, you know, edginess, texture to your hair, keep that matte look, and make it look like you put effort into your hair without having to like add a bunch of stuff into your hair. So, I hope that was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you're brand new, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or concerns, always leave them in the comment section below. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on the way. I'm on the right. I'm everywhere, I'm hard to find You want a man, I'm just a guy Busy as fuck, you know what's up